What is going on trainers? Stix10 here and today we are taking a look at Amphros in the Ultra Premier Cup of Pokemon Go. Uh, I have really enjoyed using this team so far. So we've got Amphros here uh, and we threw a Thunder Punch there into Surfetch. Uh, they did switch out from that Kingdra. Uh, it is running, uh, let's see, our Dragonite here has uh, Dragon Breath, Dragon Claw, and uh, Hurricane. And then we've got Amphros with Volt Switch, Thunder Punch, Focus Blast. Um, so the, neither one of those have Community Day moves. And then we have Charizard as our third. And it does have Community Day Blast Burn on it. We are running Fire Spin on that one uh, for Premier Cup. And so here we get another Dragon Claw off uh, before this can do anything. So they actually double shield their Kingdra. Uh, so that does leave it in a pretty vulnerable position. Uh, we're going to let our Dragonite go down uh, here. It has done its duty, and uh, we are going to Thunder Punch here. Uh, let's see if this is enough to KO. It is not quite enough. Uh, one more Volt Switch going to do it, and then let's see what they bring in. They bring in Toxicroak. Um, so we are going to throw a Thunder Punch here. And then I believe we will switch is probably the right play into Charizard and then we can shield um, and then Dragon Claw and that will be the end of this first game. Uh, I have been uh, doing fairly well in this team. We've went from rank, I think we started using it at rank 14 and we're all the way up to 17 now with it. Um, about halfway through 17. We haven't played all of our sets every day. Uh, and this is a Razor Leaf Obama Snow. So, uh, I have been, I've been questioning how I should be running Obama Snows, and, and I've been testing out different variations, uh, against Razor Leaf, um, definitely, I could have brought in Dragonite and been just fine, probably, um, and then we are gonna just cut, throw some Thunder Punches in here, this is definitely not the ideal way to do it. Uh, you can see we do quite a bit of damage here. They're going to have quite a bit of energy, though, even though it is Razor Leaf. Um, so they are going to probably be able to do back-to-back -back Weather Balls against us. Uh, yeah, there's the next one. But they will get KO'd. This is not going to KO us, so we are okay. Uh, Charizard able to withstand that. Jellicent comes in. Oh, we are not in a great position here. Uh, Bubble... Uh, and let's see what else they have on it. Bubble Beam. Uh, this is going to drop our attack to like nothing. Uh, Jellicent is pretty bulky as well. I uh, wish that we had that Amphros. Um, I think what I have been doing, your options are kind of to switch uh, into Charizard and then just hope whatever they bring in is probably going to hard counter your Charizard. So you have to be aware of that, but maybe you can get it lined up, especially if they're bringing a water type in. Um, like if they brought in Jellicent here, we would lose our Charizard. Um, and they actually bring in Talonflame now. So yeah, I really wish I had that. Um, Jell or uh, Amphros. Definitely should have switched out. Um, but we are going to get to a Blast Burn here. Let's see how much this does or if they're gonna shield. Uh, they do decide to shield. Uh, both sides are down, no shields on either side. Uh, we are going to throw a Dragon Claw here to get some damage off. So I think I'm going to get incinerate. Nope, they're going to throw. So Flame Charge probably. That's going to boost their attack. Uh, we're going to throw a Dragon Claw right into them though. Let's see how much this does. Not quite enough. I think we will be able to get it down before they can get anywhere. Um, and then Jellicent comes in, and we are able to get to a Hurricane. I don't know. It is actually enough. Wow. Okay, so we get out of that. Um, I think them throwing those Bubble Beams definitely um, did not help any. And so here we go. Okay, so this isn't bad. Um, not bad at all. Is that a Wing Attack? Let's see that animation again. They got to Dragon Claw. I couldn't tell. So we are going to get to Dragon Claw. That does quite a bit of damage there. Yeah, I think that's a wing attack. Charizard, so interesting. Uh, we're going to shield this. I should be able to take them out uh, with just Dragon Breath there. And then we are going to see what comes back in. Let's see if they bring that Roserade back or if they choose to go somewhere else. They actually bring Swampert out. 
Um, so this is a little bit of a problem. We do get a dragon claw off, which is which is ideal. We might be able to get to a second one because they're going to try to just farm us down. Uh, that's going to take a long time though with that Swampert. And so we do get a shield there. We might actually... No, they are going to finally throw. They do have some extra energy. Uh, so we're going to let this go. Hydro Cannon going to KO. And then we can bring back out our Ampharos. And I'm not going to shield this first one. This is just a Hydro Cannon. Uh, and we're going to throw a Volt Switch here. Let's see if they burn a shield or if they're just going to take the damage. And they do take the damage, so that's okay. We will use a shield now. Uh, we should be able to just farm down. We'll have some energy for that Roserade. And we still have Charizard in the back. So we'll just throw... Um, oh, they're actually going to throw a Weather Ball into us, so that is okay. Weather Ball, and then Charizard will come out. It is full health, and that is going to be GG's there. Uh, Roserade, yeah, that's probably just a Weather Ball. Uh, even if it wasn't, I don't think anything they have. Grass Knot or anything else could really do anything. And they do quit out one <laughs> one away. So next battle here, we get a favorable lead here, Ampharos versus Empoleon, and they switch into Venusaur, so that is great for us. Um, we are just going to shield up this, um, I believe it's going to be a Sludge Bomb. Uh, they will be able to get to a second Sludge Bomb before I can KO them, so we're just going to shield up the first one um, and allow it. Um, this one will go through, and you'll see it'll put us below half health, um, but we have a ton of energy now. Uh, we could have thrown a Dragon Claw at some point, but, and then farm down. Uh, so we're going to Blast Burn here. Uh, this is going to do quite a bit of damage if they don't shield. Oh, they do not shield, and then we do, oh, and that is a Metal Claw Empoleon. Interesting. Uh, definitely not the recommended moveset there, and then they bring in Dragonite, and we do not get to a Dragon Claw before we faint. Um... So our best bet here is probably to bring out Ampharos, do some damage. Uh, so throw Thunder Punches. And then they still have two shields. So we're going to allow this one to go through. We should survive. And actually, we are doing a ton of damage with just Volt Switches. Um, so we will be able to just Dragon Breath down with our Dragonite. It is full health, and that's going to be GG's. And they had two shields remaining. Uh, definitely could have saved that Empoleon for sure. So another Empoleon lead here. Oh, into Kingdra. So this is actually a really, really good battle for us. Uh, this switch, because we had that energy. A uh, little bit of extra energy there. We'll throw another Thunder Punch. And then I think we should probably just dip out to Dragonite. Um, and just farm down. So we're going to allow... We're going to shield this one. Because I think it could be an outrage. That was quite a bit of... Yeah. Quite a bit of Dragon Breast there. And so there we go. Uh, Empoleon's going to come back out. But that is fine. We've got some energy on Ampharos. Uh, and we can actually throw a Hurricane here. So let's see how much this does. Or if they're going to shield. It'd be very interesting to see. They do not shield. So we do get quite a bit of damage there. Um, and we're just going to allow... Actually, I don't think this will KO. Yeah, very close. But uh, you can see we take it down into the red, that Empoleon. So we should be able to farm down. They actually switch into Dragonite. Um, and then we're going to throw a Thunder Punch here. And... Oh, they shield. So we switch into Charizard. Um, do we use our last shield here or not? We do not, and I think that was probably the right call. Dragon Claw, Claw would not KO, um, and I don't think this will KO that Dragonite. So I think what we can do here is farm down. We might have to... Oh, no, we don't get to the farm down. That's unfortunate. Uh, we're going to have to shield. This is going to put us in a, in a... You know, we should be okay. We're going we're gonna to farm down this, and then we'll be able to throw a Thunder Punch probably into that Empoleon, and that's going to be GG's. So, yeah. Definitely, I would have liked to have farmed down with Charizard, but we were just taking too much damage from those Dragon Breaths. But anyways, so we get Kingdra versus our Ampharos here. And we're throwing, throwing, we're two, one Thunder Punch. We're going to throw right away. Uh, and let's see if they shield. They do not shield. Um, and that does quite a bit of damage. Uh, and we are to our next Thunder Punch already. 
So we can shield this. It's an Octazooka. Let's see if we get the debuff. We did not get debuffed. So we actually did one extra Volt Switch. And Thunder Punch, they do shield one and one more. And now we are through another Thunder Punch. Uh, so it's three uh, Volt Switches to your first Thunder Punch, and then it's two to the next one. So it's three, two, three, two is basically uh, what you're going to want to remember. So you need to do five to get to back to back Thunder Punches. We switch out to Dragonite here. Uh, it is going to be a Rock Slide more than likely because we're going to shield it. Uh, yep, yeah, there's the rock slide, and that would have uh, done quite a bit. Uh, Muck comes in. Uh, they do still have a shield, so we're going to farm up uh, to the hurricane. We're going to throw the dragon claw, and we do get the shield. Uh, we're going to get hit here with a dark pulse, probably, or it could be a sludge wave. Ugh, sludge wave, just not enough, and we do get to the dragon claw, um, so that's going to allow us to do some damage, at least, to this Muck. Um, and then there we go. And Charizard comes in. Even a Sludge Wave from this range is not going to KO. Uh, we should survive. There it is. And then we should be able to just uh, Dragon Claw down. And that is going to be GG's. Yeah, definitely missing bubbles on purpose there. We didn't need all of them. And Ch Machamp comes back in. Wasn't close enough to a second Rock Slide. So GG's. Um, now here... It's so kind of a, a neutral matchup, I feel like. Uh, we're going to throw Thunder Punches here. Obviously, that's going to be um, resisted. Or actually, it's neutral because Dragon type resists, Flying type, it's super effective too. So it actually ends up being neutral. And you can see we're going to use one shield, and we should come out of this um, on, with energy and some HP. Um, let's see. I think we'll still survive this. It's going to take us down to the red, but we should survive. Yeah, there we go. And we throw the uh, Focus Blast into, let's see what came in. Uh, oh, it's a, a Sceptile. So they actually, yeah, that's fine. We're going to go into Charizard now. Uh, we didn't want to switch lock ours. Um, that's okay. Uh, we're going to go into Dragonite. And this is Body Slam, probably. And so we will just farm up. And, oh, they get to... Ugh. I don't think we can survive another body slam, so we're going to have to use a shield, unfortunately. I was just trying to get to that hurricane to force them, basically, to to use their uh, shield. Yeah, there it is. And we should get to one more, hopefully. Uh, this should do a lot of damage here. I don't know if it'll KO, though. Not quite. Snorlax is thick. Uh, they actually switch into Sceptile. Um, let's see what they're throwing at us. Are they run an earthquake. Oh, Dragon Claw. Okay, we have seen a few Sceptiles, and it seems like Dragon Claw is what they are running. Uh, usually Bullet Seed, and then you've got Leaf Blade, and, and that. And oh, Snorlax comes back in. This should just be a Body Slam. We should survive. It's going to be close, but we should be able to just Fire Spin down. So GG's. That was close, though. Um, definitely, that was kind of their win condition, but I mean, Body Slam just needed to do more. Um, here got a couple options. Uh, I'm going to let this cross chop come through or night slash. There's the night slash. Uh, and then we're going to go all the way to focus blast. And I'm going to throw it and see if they're going to shield or not. I'm sh I've, I've tried doing this a bunch of times and it seems like every time they shield. When I, when I push that, they're just going to shield it. Um, so now we're in a pretty bad position. Um, yeah, this isn't great. Uh, and they have Gramble in the back. And we get some lag. Um, I'm trying to get to Hurricane. We just don't get to it um, in time. Um, yeah, we're we're in a really bad position at this point. Um, I don't think we can pull this off. But we are going to try. And there is our Dragon Claw. Yeah, not enough. So I think we're going to lose this one. Because Ampharos just does not have enough in the back. Because uh, it's all, all the way down. Yeah, we're going to get... We get the KO there, but I don't think we have enough to... They still have a shield too. So they can shield here and then just knock out our Ampharos. So GG's to my opponent. We definitely lose this one. 
Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this battles and enjoying this team. Uh, we have went very positive with it. Uh, if you guys do like this, uh, leave a like, leave a comment down below. I want to know what you guys think. And there you go. A nice four and one for us to get to 16. So I want to thank uh, my Patreon supporter, as always. A link in the description down below. Totally not necessary, but I do appreciate it uh, to anybody that wants to look into that. Uh, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and keep on battling.